Hello, this is uh, day one of the West Island Way, 95 miles in Scotland, starting with Guy, finishing Fort William. As you can see, it is a lovely misty day, so hopefully it burns off before I reach um, Conic Hill. Um, time is around... 7 o'clock in the morning, set off about half six. So, today's destination is River Dernan, hey, I'm about 27 miles. I hopefully get there for about half four or five o'clock. Hey, set up camp for the night. Hey, catch us later, bye. Hello, it's about an hour since my last update, um, or my first update. Um, the sun's starting to show its head now, um, but it's still very misty. Um, which is spoiling the view a little bit, but I'm sure it'll burn off and it'll be a lovely day. Although, um, we did pass signs on the way up and it has indicated that there should be rain. But the signs on the way up said there could be a yellow we weather warning for rain. Um, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully I'm walking out of it, um, but we'll just have to see. Um, if it's rain, it's rain. I'll just prepare for it. Um, the next update I'll give you, I'll probably be sitting having breakfast. Hopefully at the beach tree in. I'm sure it'll be open. Um, I'll see you then. Bye. Guess I'm doing early updates now. I am um, so the Beach Tree Cafe was closed. I am um, that was about a mile back. It doesn't open till half past ten for dinner. It's only quarter to nine just now. So heading on towards Drummond. I am um, suppose I'll grab something there. There's a cafe open or um, even the, the shops. I am um, take some lunch for later. Should reach Fort McConic Hill for about twelve. I um, maybe one o'clock in the oak tree. I am. Um, I'm, I'm making good pace, but I may, may as well take my time and enjoy it. So catch up with you later. Bye. So had a slight change of plan. Didn't stop at Drimmon. I um, decided to bypass it. Just there was an honesty box just next to it. They did water and things. So grabbed some more water. I am. Um, That'll be, that'll be me having three empty plastic bottles by the time I'm over Conic Hill, but hey, hope there's a bin. I, um, I think Conic's coming up shortly. Um, looking forward to that, I'm going to crack the old trekking poles out. Never used them before, so that'll be fun. See you on the flip side. Hey, well, <laughs> struggling now because the heat's absolutely belting down. I've um, seen loads of walkers now, because after it started there wasn't that many actually. Um, but then again it was half past six in the morning, so um, people are up and about now. Um, just coming up for Conic Hill. Um, it looks like an absolute monster in the backgrounds. Um, I'm sure the pictures won't do it justice, but looking forward to climbing that. The poles are out. <laughs> Having fun with those. Um, cannot wait to get something to eat at the bottom of Conic. I'm pretty hungry now. I'm right over and out. Okay, starting the ascent for Conic Hill now. The time is 11:37 a.m. Um, I've been walking for five hours and twelve minutes, pretty much without a break, which I know is daft, but. Um, Ah well, you do daft things. You've got to do daft things sometimes. Um, I'll give you an update when we've got better views because it's just hilly trail just now. Right, bye. As you can tell by my breath, the sweat is absolutely pissing out of me. 
that's as of the side of Connick Hill, but it's worth it for the view. Um, it's 12.01, so it's at 11.37, it's at 24 minutes to get up that. That's alright, it's good going. Um, on the route to Balmaha now. Hello, that's me, home for the night, it's a luxury campsite, so it's about 24 miles or something, I think I'd worked out at 27 so I was a wee bit short which means tomorrow's going to be a longer day, but oh well, um, this is my tiny little one man abode, and guess what, It's you won't be able to see it, but um, it just started raining, so I'm really happy to have got here when I did, and I've set up. Um, that was a pretty mega day. Uh, let me tell you how long it was. Get my watch out. Right. So, today was. Right, so I started at 6.24am, it's the 30th of July, um, I did 24.3 miles in 8 hours and 16 minutes, so it was a pretty mega long day. Um, the only time I actually stopped was at um, the Bot McConnick Hill, after that little forest trail, um, the Oak Tree, I think it's called, the, the sort of pub, um, I had fish and chips and huge class of um, Coca-Cola and it was really good. Um, I'm going to make myself a coffee. I'm going to take my shoes off because they hurt. <laughs> um, and I'm going to plan out tomorrow's day. Hopefully it just rains overnight um, slightly and then burns off again in the morning because um, I mean today was lovely weather but my god was it hard going especially up the uh, Conic Hill. Um, sweat pouring out me, uh, so I've had to refill water quite a few times. Um, I'll be doing that again tomorrow because I think I don't think there's many shops after this um, till you really get to um, kind of towards Tindramish. Is that right? I'm not sure. Right. Um, but I might put this on later on. I might not. Okay. Bye. Okay, guys. The moment of truth. The rain has started, perhaps this is the yellow weather warning that they um, alerted us to on the way up. Um, maybe it won't be, maybe it'll pass, we'll see. Um, but it's been boiling hot all day, so um, it's a bit of a mixed bag really. Um, also a moment of truth is, well the tent hold up, <laughs> because I didn't really test it out to be honest. I just um, bought it and thought that'll do. Tiny wee one man tent. Um, known the Scottish weather, I should probably have looked at ones that are rated for um, different weather kind of things, but I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? I am um, more not like a little bit of HDO spoiler fun. Okay, um, next update I'll probably be eating something. Right. Bye. Hello, pretty cosy up in my tent now. Got my pillow sleeping bag. I am um, just spent a good wee time in the shores of Loch Lomond there, just watching the sunset a little bit. But yeah, it's getting on a little bit now. It's just after eight o'clock. Um, after the early start this morning, I'm just totally beat. So early night for me. I am planning getting up roughly the same time tomorrow. To start so that'll be 6 a.m. Definitely out by 7 a.m. anyway. <clears throat> um, same kind of distance to cover tomorrow, so I'll probably be feeling the same way. Um, it's just a case of what the weather's going to do, might slow things up a little, might not. Um, so we'll see. I, uh, well, <laughs> I was eating my dinner, I had uh, super noodles. 
Um, I, I deliberately didn't pick the spicy ones <clears throat> because um, I didn't want to spend any time with like heartburn or you know just any indigestion or anything like that. So um, lo and behold, the ones I bought spicy. Not only that, I added the sachet of spices and the oil that comes with it as well, and it's clung to everything. Um, the mess tin. Um, fork and things like that. I managed to clean it out in the sink there, but um, it, was just, it was just difficult to get off. Um, so less learnt. I'll not do that next time. Um, apart from that, um, it's pretty much over now. I'll be doing tomorrow. I'll be doing <clears throat> I am twenty six or twenty seven miles again, plus the extra distance I didn't do the day, so it might be closer to thirty actually. Um, that's why I want the early start. So I'll hopefully end up in Tindrum. I heard there's a campsite there called By The Way. And you don't book it, so you just turn up and hopefully there's a tent or a pitch or something there we can use. Um, if not, I mean, there'll be plenty of other things in about Tindrum where they can advise me where to go to wild camp. But it'd be nice to use the facilities. I think they've got showers and a drying room as well. So if it is wet overnight and my stuff does get wet, it's not the end of the world. Um, I can dry it. Um, not that it's went now, it seems to be fairly okay. Um, but we'll see. Tomorrow's another day. But bye. You'll not be able to see me. And hopefully you can hear this. Do you hear this alarm? Oh my god, it's agile stop. Nope. Here we go. So this has been going off for 20 minutes. Um, it is about quarter past 11 at night. Um, I was enjoying my sleep. Not anymore. Okay, it turns out that the alarm was to drown out the shouting. Of the domestic that's going on in New Town. Some guy called Jamie has been cheating on his missus. And it is disturbing the entire campsite. Um, it is incredibly annoying. It's about half eleven at night now. I just want some sleep. I did bring any earplugs, which is a rookie error. Um, so I'll be doing that, and I'll do this again. Um, so I'm going to use some of the toilet roll I bought, and I'm going to roll it up, and then I'm going to stick it in my ear. <laughs> because this is unbearable. I really hope you can hear this. The, um, the filming won't do it. Justice whatsoever, but it's fucking annoying. That's people. That's ruining a lot of people's experiences here. Well, I'll have a little climb out of Solochi campsite to get started, already sweating. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. I um, still got a long ways to go. <clears throat> Probably stop for lunch at about yeah, breakfast actually about 10. I'll stop for lunch again about 12 or 1. Um, I, I didn't take enough breaks yesterday. That was a problem. So I um, plenty planned in today. I don't care if I arrive at my destination slightly later than planned, that's just the way of it. So, <clears throat> nice wee forest section here. Um, undulating a bit, so downs and ups. Um, but the scenery in the background is absolutely phenomenal. So, I'm going to enjoy that, which means I'll see you later.
Hello, um, so that is us part of the way through the technical trail section at, just after the River Derning. Um, it's quite hard going, it's still warm again. Midges are out in force, but it's 10 o'clock, so I'm going to eat something. Um, we cheap out a roll that I bought from the shop yesterday, and that'll do. Um, and I'll catch you later on. Not done many updates today, that's because it's so busy in the trail that nobody needs to see a weird guy talking into his phone the whole way, spoiling the view, so I um, just left the Inversnate Hotel, had a pint, it was good met a couple of Irish lads that are doing the best island way um, one of them bought three slices of cake, so um, good on him um, time is 10 to 1 been walking for about uh, four hours and 20 minutes or something today, so I am still a wee bit ways to go, probably two fifths of the way through the day. So I am um, having fun though, it's nice and warm again. Um, unfortunately, that means that it's pretty hard going when you're not covered with shade, and even the shade doesn't do much either. I am, um, but. These are the views. I'll catch up with you later. Well, that's Loch Lomond down. It's in the background. Um, Took some pictures of it, but I didn't want to stand there too long because it's quite open and exposed at the end of it in a big field, and there's lots and lots of thunder. <laughs> um, so I might be expecting a, a um, thunderstorm at some point, so you're better under the canopy of trees, I suppose. Um, or maybe I'm just worrying over nothing. Who knows? But, um, we are at two, uh, five, six hours roughly of walking today. Still got a wee bit to go, four hours probably. Um, quite tired, that's a really difficult section. Um, so next update will be um, Bridgewatchie, I think, or Inveronan, um, wherever, but I'm stomping for a pint, wherever it is, because I'm dying for one again. Right, bye. So, I've been walking out quite a good bit. Um, this is might be my last video before I die inevitably of getting um, shot by a huge bolt of plasma. Um, here is the ominous black clouds. Ooh. Um, not just that, some of the closest, loudest thunder I think I've ever heard. Um, I actually ducked for cover as if a grenade had gone off or something, but. Um, I think we're quite close to the next town, so see what's happening there. Maybe stop for some more to eat and a pint, and then uh, plan out the rest of the day. I think it's still a good six miles or something after after that. So a couple of hours yet. Bye. Okay, so I am home for the night and. Uh, in Glass Farm, which is way short of Dindrum um, that I was planning on. Um, basically, as it was at the end of Walk Romans and a small section after that to, to Ben Glass, um, the thunder started getting really, really close, and then the heavens just opened. So, as soon as I got to Ben Glass Farm, I saw that they had three showers and a pub and a restaurant. That was just it for me. You know, towny mode kicked in, um, take full advantage of that, so I bought a pitch, it was like 8 quid or something, pitched up for the night. Um, you can hear the rain battering off the tent, hopefully it holds up, it held up last night and it was raining, so um, fingers crossed for tonight. Um, I had the burger and chips and a pint in there, refilled my water bottles as well, so um, glad to be out of the rain. Definitely an early night. 
BRB a nicer night's sleep than it was last night. Um, as you'll know, last night, I fell asleep at 9 o'clock, woke up at 11 with someone's phone alarm ringing, and I could tell it was a phone alarm because I could hear the phone vibrating. Um, and then that was for about 20 minutes solid, so I was sitting there thinking some idiots forgot to turn off the phone alarm and they're away or something. Um, no, that was the neighbours of another tent who were in a screaming match with each other, having like a, um, a, a Zoom guard we call a domestic. And they were really going at each other, well, she was going at him. Um, he'd obviously been unfaithful in some sort of way or something. I could tell you all about it, I won't, I won't like it. Um, his name is Jamie or something. So if you're listening, Jamie, you ruined my night. Um, plan for tomorrow is you're going to have to hammer out a big mile day um, because I fell short today. Otherwise, overshoot time wise. So I'm um, looking at about. Um, probably 30 miles or something that I was going to do um, I was going to do t- 30 miles because I was going to Tim Jim I think only did about 18 or something today actually um, I was planning on 30 tomorrow was meant to be 20 it was a light day in fact 19 miles it was a light day so I'm going to have to add 10 on to it and do about 29 um, but that's fine we'll just cope with it if it's raining it's raining to have to deal with it on the way. Um, try to keep my dry stuff dry, my wet stuff that I don't care about. Because it doesn't leak through. Um, what's the time just now? Six o'clock in the evening. Um, yeah, so that's about it. But, um, oh, sorry there was not a lot of updates today. Um, it was just the trail was so busy with people. I didn't feel like getting my phone out to take pictures or... I, did, I took some pictures but didn't want to sit there and be the guy that films himself, so um, that's why. Bye. Good morning. So, my tent is less than waterproof. Um, the rain was absolutely hammering down yesterday, and it seems to have come through. Kind of zipped part here. I um, noticed that about two o'clock in the morning, <sighs> the floor of the tent was wet, so I um, had to get my towel out and dry that off. Um, the nail seems to be pretty dry, um, n- nothing really got too wet, so. Um, it's time to go up now and get moving for the day. I'm a bit sore. <laughs> so, things might be broken, so paracetamol. Um, we'll get ourselves into Tindrum, get some food, and then on to King's House, hopefully. If not, just set up a wild camp somewhere and um, might overshoot in time, maybe take a 50, but um, that's all part of the fun. Bye for now. Okay, I'm um, off and walking now. I just left Ben Glass Farm. That's where I stayed last night because the uh, thunderstorm hit. Uh, I'm too much of a pussy to carry on through it. Plus, I'm carrying two lightning rods in my hand. So, um, stop there. Warm shiver. Pub grub pint. Bed. Um, rain was hammering down all night, the tent leaked, um, the ground was wet in the morning, so the mission to dry that with a towel, but <laughs> what did I expect, um, a cheap tent off Amazon, um, got a lot of ground to cover today, so it is 7.52, um, it'll probably take us, oh look, a wee frog, It'll probably take us till uh, 6, 7 o'clock if we're going to reach King's House 
um, depending on the pace throughout the day. Uh, I'm not going fast, just uh, that's what it is. Maybe I'll go faster when the ibuprofen kick in. Maybe I'll just get two of those at the shop. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll probably catch up with his friend about Tindrum. So I think that's in about eight or nine miles. Um, but it's a lovely day. Get the jacket on, the bag cover just in case. Can't be too careful. Bye. I was wondering when I was going to get to this bit. Well, here goes. Thank God I did all those squats. Well, doing good today, but it's just dawned on me that I've done all my filming uh, in vertical mode. I'm literally one of those people. I, I don't know why it came up on me, just there, just did. I, um, I don't do much filming on my phone. This is certainly the first time I've done anything like this, so um, apologies, but I'm just going to keep it this way. Um, at least, I'm, uh, at least I'm consistent with it. That's the road you can hear, I think it's the 82, not sure. I guess we'll find out. But I'll speak to you in a bit. Ooh, it's an overall climb, just hit the split roads, taking you to Tindrum. Or down to Crane Larry. I don't need to go to Crane Larry, so almost to Tindrum <sighs> first. Yeah. Beautiful scenery though. Great. I've um, been going for two hours and 17 minutes. Um, it is just five past ten. So I'm um, be happy to get Tindrum, get something to eat. Rolling sausage or something. Um, probably stop for 20 30 minutes there and, and just um, knock the miles off the day. So I've got 20 to do after that, so good fun. Bye. Set off again. I forgot to say in my last update, just a minute or two ago, I am um, passing on the box. I am um, about two miles back, I think, and just the middle of nowhere with a seat at it. It, had, um, it was well stocked crisps, juice, chocolate bars, water. Yeah, I've already got water, so I took myself Mars Bar, a can iron brew, it's perked us right up. Um, ooh, that's a bit of a clean. Right. Um, a nice wooded section, I like these bits, but I also like the big scenery of the mountains and things as well, so hope there's more of both. Jacket on and off, it's dry now. I've um, been shivering a little bit, but just about a tindrum, about a mile away. Um, although the signs that you've passed all the way up here suggest that it's like round a corner or something, um, which it isn't. And I'll remember that for next time if I ever do it again. Um, once there, something to eat, pretty hungry. Uh, make sure I've got enough water. And then it's just miles and miles and miles. My um, feet are a wee bit sore. Everything else feels okay. Um, hip was giving me trouble yesterday, but it's fine today. I think the ibuprofen probably helps. Um, but it's a nice warm day again. Um, I hope we avoid any thunder and lightning like yesterday. Don't mind a bit of rain. Um, but we'll see. I mean, if we have to stop, we'll stop early. But if we keep going, then it's just less to do tomorrow. So tomorrow should be the last day. Um, hopefully, get to Fort William for about half two tomorrow. Um, what's the time just now? So it's 11:45 just now. We've been on the move for about four hours. Um, just about there. Right. We are the split. Hey, I'll catch up with you in Tindrum. Bye. Okay. 
in. Just had lunch at Tindrum. I um, stopped there for about 40 minutes. Spoke to those two Irish lads again, they were there. I um, just had a burger and chips, a big glass of coke. That'll do me just now, climbing. Um, I think in Verdorn and Bridge of Orchie and King's House. And there's today's destinations. King's House hopefully being where we get to, but that's about 19 miles away, so we'll see. Although, the pace is not bad, covering a mile every 20 21 minutes. So, hopefully, terrain easy underfoot. Get there on time, probably not till about back at 7 8 o'clock, but had a shorter day yesterday, so um, that's where we are. I'll catch up with you later. Here's some of the scenes. Woo! Bye! Here's this little bit. I've seen in plenty of videos, it? It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> nice wee style at the end of it, I think. I look with it. I hope it's sturdy enough. Yeah, right, put my phone away before I slip. Okay, been walking six hours now, day three. Um, that doesn't include the stop off to eat something. Um, so I've probably been up and only go for close to seven. I'm um, still enjoying it. It's a much nicer day today, actually. It's, it's still warm, but it's not as warm. A um, couple of light showers. I mean, it's a bit annoying that because it's jackets on, jacket off, jacket on, jacket off, because you don't know if it's going to stay on or not. Um, the clouds look fine. A lovely path by the road. Um, taking us to the next stop. Um, nice every time you get through one of these glens, you just see more. Scenery is absolutely fantastic. Um, not sort of gorgeous. You don't get this in Glasgow, I'll tell you that. Um, I'll give you a wee update when we are at the next stop off. Um, Bridge of Orchie, maybe, I think. Um, if it is, I'll update you then. Right, bye. Okay guys, a uh, last little update for just now because my phone is just under half charge and it does a weird thing because sometimes it just drains battery. Lots of it. I put it in power saving mode but um, see how long it lasts. Just left the Bridge of Orchard Hotel. I did a light speed paint. Chat with some waters. Bar staff were very nice in there. We filled my water for me. Which is great.
Um, it's been a long time. Uh, last time I left here, I was leaving. Um, I was going to Bridge Orchie, left there after having a drink. Um, and it was just the longest, wettest, warmest walk all the way. Just 10 extra miles, whatever it was, to um, King's House. Um, and it is exposed and the grouse jump out from under the brush and um, it just took forever the ground was incredibly rough underfoot kind of like this stuff um, it was not comfortable and I got to King's house about 9 o'clock at night in fact I got there at 8.45 went in, asked if they had one of the cabins because that's what the way I was feeling they didn't so asked to pitch up said that's fine, find a spot did, pitched up then uh, got into the bar area for some tea at five past nine. Stopped serving food at nine. But I'd bought, I'd stocked up anyway. Um, so I had food on me. It was just, I wanted a warm meal. Um, it was pouring the rain still as well. So the stove was out of the question, especially in that one man tent. There's no canopy or anything on it. Um, the midges there are the fiercest out of the entire of Scotland. Um, they must feed them something. I don't know what. Uh, but I had a very uncomfortable night's sleep. And I'm a boggy marsh. Woke up this morning at uh, half past seven. Uh, sorry, half five to seven. Overslept by like an hour and a half. Packed up as quick as I could because it's the last day. Wanted to set off at half five, didn't set off at half seven. Um, I've been walking now for well, there's a uh, 16 and a half miles gone. I've got less than 10 to go, nine or something like that. Yeah,